Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Oh schemes and graphics we are making a building with another GTA 5 my tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing a script called the boss this one right here is created by the alien the alien shout out to the creator Right now, we are on the creator's Patreon. In order to download this, you are going to have to become a Patreon. Uh, currently, I am um, a Patreon of the last tier, which is the third tier, and uh, it is $10.50 per month, okay, in order to access this one script right here, all right? I will leave all the links down in the description, so make sure to check that out, and make sure that you become a Patreon before that way you can access the script, all right? So once you become a Patreon and you have downloaded the Boss 1.1, I will also have extra links down in the description, which are requirements um, in order to run the script, which will be scriptbookv, scriptbookv.net, and native UI. And you will also need iFruit add-on. That link will be linked down in the description as well. Okay, so make sure that you have those requirements installed before going any further. Now that you have your requirements installed, if you look on my left side, I have one download. That one download is the Boss V1.1. And on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. I have all of my requirements installed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and go back to our downloads and open up the boss folder. Inside that boss folder, you're going to have two files. Okay. I had uh, recently made this text document, um, but when you download it, you are only going to have these two files. All right. So let's go ahead and highlight these two files. Leave those highlighted, come back over to your GTA 5 directory and open up your scripts folder. And now we can go back to our downloads where we had those two highlighted at. And we're gonna drag and drop both boss files into our scripts folder. As you can see, drag and drop right here. From this point, we are all done with the installation. We could go ahead and minimize any windows that we might have open and run the game. All right, when you spawn in the game, what you want to do in order to uh, start working on the boss script is open up the phone. When you open up the phone, go to your contacts. Scroll to the bottom of the contacts by just simply pressing up and you will be at the bottom. Then you will see something. You will see a contact that says start a mob. Go ahead and select that. Then you will see a certain amount of money will be... Uh, Taken away from your account. I think it's like three hundred thousand. All right. So uh, make sure you got some money before you start a mob, because it's going to be expensive. You're going to need to start a mob. Then you're going to need to buy some properties and stuff like that. So right now, after you choose start a mob, you will come to this screen right here. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you will see directions on how to change the person, or not directions, instructions. Better yet, you will see instructions on how to change the person, change the color, change the style, and to confirm your selection. All right. So uh, we have this person right here let's change them to a different one and if you look at the head the head is pretty much the thing that changes and the color as well we have um, a black guy right here and you have uh, I think it's like a Latin guy could be another white guy so you have like probably like three type of uh, ethnics you could pick from and then on the color you change the color that changes the color of the outfit that you are wearing and if you don't like this guy right here, either his um, color or the clothes, then you could change the style. And by selecting that, we'll um, change the whole environment. So you pretty much have a whole style of a person right here, a whole new person. And then if you change it again, then you will see the background change again. And then this person will have a completely different style than the previous two people. And if we go, we get another different style right here. We could also change the person here as well. Change the color of the outfit. All right. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these guys right here. 
and this person will be our concierge all right so when we check in with our mob and we uh give the mob orders this is the person that is going to be our right hand man to tell our squad and our associates what to do okay so this is not the guy that we will be playing as let me repeat that this is our concierge all right this is our right hand man this is the guy that we tell to tell everybody else to do stuff all right he's like right underneath us so once you uh, choose your character go ahead and press um what is it uh press the left click on the mouse if you're using the keyboard or press rt if you're using the controller all right now that we have started the mob wait a couple of seconds and you should get a message in the bottom left of the screen uh, mr concierge let's get started i'm glad to start working with you give me a call whenever you want i hope i'm saying that right Con concierge uh, whatever all right so we get that message and everything right so say like you wanted to start doing some stuff now what we want to do is open up the phone again go to the contacts scroll all the way down to the bottom and now you will see the concierge at the bottom of the contacts all right you want to select that all right now a menu will pop up in the top left okay so we already have our mob created by now so now you will get a menu that will pop up in the top left of the corner i mean top left of the screen so from this point you have the first option which is your mob info you select that this screen will pop up right here that says the name of your mob we haven't gave our mob a name so by default your mob is called your mob and as you can see you have power that is the power of your mob um, as you get to buying more properties and uh, doing more mob activities then of course your power will go up then as you see below the power you have fear and respect there will be some there will be activities that uh, will call you for example there will be different things that will call you and they'll be about different situations and it's all about how you handle it whether you're going to get fear or get respect okay when you get fear that means of course people fear you when you get respect that means that people have respect for you all right so during the game while you are playing you will see randomly there will be things that will pop up and uh, your concierge will be like hey boss there's some things that need your attention and then you will have the option to either um address that or um ignore it okay those instructions will pop up at the top left of the screen when it does happen and when that happens then you will also see that it will let you know what choice it'll be about um, one to three choices and each of those choices will let you know either if you get fear or respect for making that choice okay now as you go down you will see the order and associate time if we went ahead and uh, start to buy warehouses we will have to send some associates out to go and take care of that order to go and buy the warehouses now we can send up until four associates when you first start off you have two squad members and two associates uh, and four associates excuse me you have two squad members and four associates as you can look down you will see that you have no drugs no smuggling goods no stores restaurants or warehouses because we just started and if you look at the bottom it will tell you the other mobs we have four other mobs that we're playing with one is the syndicate second one is the triads third is the cartel and the fourth one is the the kang pay the kang pay mob yeah and if you look right next to the names of the mods you will see p uh p2 or a p in a certain number that p represents the power just like we went through previously this will represent the power of those mobs and when you look at the syndicate their power is at level two and then the neutral that is the, the that is the relationship that we have with those mobs so right now we don't have any beef or um any enemies right now because we just started in order to make a enemy with one of these mobs they will have to uh, go ahead and try to rob you or you rob them okay like if you're trying to take their warehouses or attack their warehouses or restaurants or stores then that will definitely make them become an enemy of you and vice versa if they try to rob you for your warehouses restaurants or stores then they will become your enemy all right so let's go down to the orders orders right here is drug and you select drug you'll be able to buy cocaine and sell cocaine but if you go to buy cocaine and then um, you have the option to adjust the units that you want to buy and who you want to buy the cocaine from you will have the options out of the four mobs syndicate triads cartel and king pay once you have made your decision go ahead and select confirm now at this point if you select confirm 
you will see at the bottom of the screen it says we have nowhere to store that amount and that's right before you start buying drugs or smuggling goods you're going to need a warehouse all right so let's go ahead and go back and then once you get a warehouse and buy cocaine then of course you can sell cocaine all right but you won't be able to buy cocaine until you get a warehouse now let's go down to the next option which is smuggling you select smuggling and select retrieve smuggling goods this right here will give you the option to choose how many crates to retrieve how many men to send and then go ahead and confirm but before you do this you're going to need a warehouse if you see right now we have confirm highlighted and below it it says no warehouses to store the goods so therefore it's not going to let us um, send our men or make this order for our men to go and retrieve smuggling goods let's go back and once you have retrieved a uh, warehouse and then you have retrieved smuggling goods then you do have the option to sell the smuggling goods you have the option to um, adjust how many crates you want to sell and what mob you want to sell it to all right now let's go back to our orders menu when the next one down is stores when you select stores you will have the option to buy a store attack a store or sell a store if you go to buy a store then you have the option on how many men you want to send to go ahead and buy that store for you. Now, if you see when we have men to send highlighted at the bottom in the information in the description part, it says more men are more persuasive, making the price cheaper. So if you do have more men, send more men in order to buy that store. OK, so you want to set it up to anywhere between uh, two and four. It depends on how many people that you have. So when you start off, like I mentioned, you only have four tops. Um, you only have four associates at the at the top that you could send to go ahead and buy a store for you. All right. You're, you're going to have to progress further with the power of your mob in order to get more associates. Now, let's go down. Oh, now you see, we just got a message saying a sit down is about to take place. Should I notify them of your coming? Let's go ahead and accept that. Your private driver is coming to pick me up. All right. We have a sit down. It says my private driver will take me there. So we're just going to wait right here. I don't have my mini map up right now, but if you do have your mini map up, you will be able to see your private uh, driver coming to pick you up. More than likely, it's going to be a little blue blip. Whoa. <laughs> and there's your driver. He will pull up. I had replaced the car. He, is, uh, he usually pulls up in a lamp. A lamp pen. I can't pronounce the name, but it's, a, it's the car is called Felon. All right. And I replaced the felon car with the Mercedes Benz. But as you can see, when your driver pulls up, he is going to pull up. He's going to jump out, open the back door for you to get in. And then he's going to just wait in a certain pose. OK, so we're going to go ahead and just jump in the back. Once we jump in, then our driver will run over there to the driver's side. And we are going to go to the sit down. All right. Except declare war on the triads. Uh, refuse. All right. So this right here, we're going to be talking about different things. All right. We have a certain sit down time remaining at the top. And during this time, everybody's going to be talking about different things. Like the triads have a request in the alliance. Okay. Let's go ahead and accept that. All right, so now the triads is now our ally instead of our enemy. So we now we have alliance with triads. We can go ahead and request something also to buy something from them or truce or war or back out. All right, we also have previous, which is uh, previous and next. We could uh, address who we want to make a request to. So right now I have it highlighted on the syndicate. It's requesting me to give them some money. I'm going to refuse that. Okay. So when they make a request, you do not have to accept it. All right. So I'm not going to make any request. I'm just going to let the time run out and see what they want. Because we just started right now. Okay. But we can try to make a request. Let's go ahead and make a request from our allies. Oh, an alliance. They want an alliance with the k -Pang. Let's go ahead and accept that. Oh, the triads is no longer an alley. Oh, we can only have one ally. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we ally with the king pay now. I guess so. 
So let's go and make a, a request from them. Um, how about we buy a property from you? Buy a store. All right. Oh, they refused. Oh, you refused to let me buy a store from you. What about the triads? You already made your request from them. Oh. Okay, let me request them from you. Let me buy a property from you, man. Let me buy a store. <laughs> so since we just got started, I don't think anybody uh is feeling us right now, man. Come on, bro. Let me buy uh let me buy a property from you. The cartel refused. See, everybody refused. Even my ally, huh? Let me see. Bro, what's up, my ally? Are you gonna refuse me too? Syndicate came pay. You already made your request to the came pay. Oh. Okay, well, after making our request and then making their request, time runs out, then eventually it's going to fade back out, and we'll be outside of the meeting. All right, as you can see, we are out of the meeting, and we are back inside of our driver's car. We are in the back seat. Now let's go ahead and explain the private driver. All right, the private driver you can access by uh, calling, going to the um, open up your phone, going to the contacts, scroll down to the bottom, select concierge, and when the menu pops up on the left side of the screen, you want to scroll down to services. Okay, we're gonna cover the squad also, but since we are in the car right now, let's go ahead and cover the services. Now we're going to have three options, all right? The first option is bribe the police. So when we get into something with some criminal activity and there's police around, we do have the option to bribe the police. It's, um, way, it's just similar to uh, how it was with Lester. When you're playing GTA online and you have the cops on you, then you get to call Lester to bribe the police. So this is the same thing. Then you have the second option, which is personal driver. Now we went through it before where uh, we had to sit down. The, the driver was automatically sent to us now if you want to call the driver you're going to have to go inside of your mob menu go inside services and select personal driver wherever you're at the personal driver will show up once the personal driver shows up get in the car and the personal driver will get in the car as well except this time the personal driver will not go nowhere until you let them know to go somewhere so for example if you look at the bottom of the screen in the right hand side you will see instructions on to stop or to go okay so if we want him to stop simply press the button and our personal driver will stop all right now if you wanted him to go and just drive around without a waypoint then you will just press go Come on, let's get going. and your personal driver will just drive they'll just drive around to random places all right now if you wanted your driver to go somewhere a specific uh waypoint we could stop it or just let him drive, press the pause menu, open up the map, and then set a waypoint. That's all we got to do is just set a waypoint. Let's set something a little close. Um, let's set it right, right here. Okay. We're going to set that waypoint. And then from this point, if we're stopped, all we have to do is press go. Come on, let's and go. then our driver will automatically make his way to that waypoint. If you're already driving and you make a waypoint, you're going to have to stop the car and then press go again. Or if you're driving and you make a waypoint, all you have to do is press in the left analog stick on your controller. I'm not sure what control that will be on the keyboard, but it will state it down in the bottom right corner of the screen. All right. So this is your personal driver. You can have uh, like a bodyguard in here if you will, if you want to. But uh, for right now, it's just you and your personal driver. Now let's go ahead and get into the bodyguard part. All right. While we're driving around. I'm going to go ahead and open up my contacts, my menu called concierge. And let's go ahead and cover the squad. The squad will be right here on the main menu will be the third option down the squad. You select that. You're going to have your members that you want to um, bring to you. I think at the moment we can only bring two because we only have uh, two squad members. And then you have the option to call the squad okay now everything costs money when you're dealing with the script right here as you can see each member requires a thousand dollars so if we want two members then it's going to be two thousand dollars and we'll be able to call the squad to wherever our location is so let's go ahead and uh, get off this freeway let's see where we at oh we're still making our way over there all right 
So we'll go ahead and just teleport my mans over there. Boom. There we go. And I'll stop him right here. All right. So now we're stopped in the middle of the street. Let's go ahead and open up the phone and call over our squad. All right. A con records, huh? Uh -huh. Look at that. All right. So now we have our menu up let's go ahead and call the squad to members and select call the squad it's going to take two thousand dollars out from us and it's going to let us know the squad is coming let me see if i could put back on my mini map up oh, should be on I'll just turn that back on is it nope. but if you open up the map you will see that your squad is coming there will be a little blue blip like this right here and you will see them making their way over to you on your mini map. So we're just gonna wait right here for a squad to show up. Six and a half hours later. All right, and here goes our squad. Now keep in mind, uh, you might not want to stand in the middle of the street when the, when your personal driver and your squad shows up because they just might hit you. Now, as I'm sitting in the car, they automatically get in the car with me. If I get out the car. They're going to get out the car as... Oh, I just got hit by a car. <laughs> like I was saying, if I get out the car, they're going to get out the car with me. They're going to follow me, and they will assist me with anything that I need, especially gunfire. Okay, so these are your bodyguards, your squad, call it what you want, but they're here to protect you. All right? Now, the um, more that you progress upwards, the more that you uh, get more power for your mob, then you will acquire more squad members and more associates okay uh, more squad members will give you more associates all right now when your squad members die then the associates that they brought to you will leave also all right and then you will have to wait a certain amount of time um, for you know your character to get more new squad members as well as associates it's kind of like a cool down time after a certain time you'll just you know gain the the squad member and the associates back okay but you have to wait a certain amount of time in order to get those back everything is described on the download page for the script in detail all right in in depth should i say so let's go ahead and jump inside the car i got my uh two associates with me right now i'm just gonna go ahead and let my driver drive me around while we continue to go through the rest of the features of the menu, I'm going to open up my uh, phone, go to the contacts, call the mob again. All right, now we have went through your mob info, which is right here. We have uh, went through the orders, which is uh, the smuggling, the stores, restaurants, and warehouses. Uh, stores, we went to to buy a store. Same thing is going to be with the restaurants. Um, but there will be times or probably a certain area that you're at where there won't be any restaurants available at the time. So you're going to have to check back here inside of the restaurants and also the warehouses as well as stores. Sometimes you won't see buy a store or buy a warehouse. So you just have to come back to the menu a little later on. Now let's go into restaurants, for example. Just like stores, uh, restaurants have the option for you to buy it if it's available. Then the next option down will be attack a restaurant or sell a restaurant. The stores, the restaurants, and warehouses all have these same three options, okay? You could buy, attack, or sell. Now the attack a restaurant, store, or warehouse means you're going to be attacking one of the other mobs, warehouses, stores, or, or um or restaurant whichever one that you choose you're going to be robbing those from the other mobs okay now be careful because that will change the friendship of you know of the relationship between you and the other mob if you're a neutral then that will make you um, enemies now look at the bottom of the screen we just got a message that says something needs your attention we got the instructions at the top I'm gonna go ahead and answer that now we have uh, the police found a body I think it could have been us we have the option bribe the detective the second option track down a witness and the third option do nothing and if you look in the description of it it has plus respect and the negatives the money then we have track down the witness which gives us fear all right and then we have do nothing which will we will lose fear or respect accordingly it, 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 it'll randomly just pick one and just minus it from us okay so let's go ahead and pick uh fear track down the witness the witnesses now, if we open up the menu again by selecting contacts, calling the concierge. And if we select uh, your mob info, 
you will see right below the one a power one now we have this little purple line right there now the more fear that we get and we you know put in people then that line will go closer to the left over in the fear and it'll start to fill up the fear side okay the fear side is going to be to the left where the fear is at and on the right of the on the right of that purple line is respect okay so when you do get respect then that bar will fill up towards the right towards respect okay it's um pretty you know simple to understand so as we get these messages throughout the game pay attention to what answer is going to give you what if that's going to give you more um respect or more fear okay so now that we have went through that the services um the squad the orders um, I believe we went through everything with the orders because you're going to have the option to buy a restaurant, attack a restaurant, or sell a restaurant, okay? Um, attack a restaurant, like I said, you're going to be attacking another um, mob's restaurant or warehouse or store, whichever one you choose. Then when you do so, you will have about seven minutes, I believe. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and try to attack another one. We don't have that many people right now, and we are on power one okay so we can try to attack somebody but keep in mind if they have more power than us we have a good chance of losing all right so i'm gonna go ahead and select attack a restaurant then i'm going to send four people and then i'm gonna pay attention to the other mobs and pay attention to their power level as you can look at the syndicate their power level is at two and king pay is at two also but king pay is our ally so we're going to go ahead and attack syndicate's restaurant okay i'm gonna send four people over there and the mob target i'm gonna have that set to the syndicate and then i'm going to select confirm but keep in mind before you confirm anything everything costs money when you make an order for your mob it costs money so this one right here in order to attack um, the syndicate's restaurant it's going to cost us about forty-four thousand. all right so make sure that you have that money confirm once you confirm that, if you look on your mob info list and on the left side <clears throat> under order associate in time, you will see the order. The order that we gave was attacking syndicate restaurant. The associates that we sent was four of them. The time that we have remaining is four minutes and 40 something seconds. OK, so everything is self-explanatory right here. It's very easy to understand. Um, you pretty much just going to have to wait this out in order to see what happens. Okay. You're going to have to wait it out to see if you were successful with attacking the restaurant or if you failed. Now let's go over the success and the failure. If you succeed at attacking somebody's restaurant store or warehouse, you will acquire that restaurant store or warehouse. And you might acquire some other things as well. It all depends on, um, on what you get. I think it's like a random outcome. Okay. Um, but when you do, when you are successful in attacking another mob's property, you will acquire that property or or and if or require the stuff inside that property as well. If it's a warehouse or something like that, you might acquire the warehouse and some of their smuggling goods or drugs that they have stored in that warehouse. All right. So if you get a store, you will get the store in a restaurant. You will get the restaurant. All right. So um, if you fail by attacking um, another mob's store restaurant or, or warehouse if you fail then that will um that will that will be an outcome of you losing some associates now whether you're successful or you fail there's going to be a high chance of you, you of you losing associates okay because you know people aren't bulletproof out here so people are going to die you might lose a couple associates but if you fail there's a chance you will lose more associates okay you might lose more associates and then on top of that um that that mob that you had attacked will eventually come and attack you for your properties all right so just know that when you fail um it's not the end of the world but um just be ready that you're going to lose some men and that um whoever you attacked will attack you pretty soon after you have to after you have attacked them all right so while that is still counting down let's go over the menu make sure we covered everything uh we do have preferences okay last but not least inside of your mob menu is preferences now this is where we get to change the name of our mob as you can see the first option is rename your mob let's go ahead and select that rename my mob i am just going to call it mob ties there you go um i have two things open up so what i'm going to do is back out of that menu right there and then i'm gonna bring up our menu again 
and also um, periodically you will see this little message at the bottom right of the screen it's going to give you the income report it's going to give you the report on the stores and the restaurants you own and how much total that you're getting from those all right we have something that needs our attention right now it says i heard rumors unfortunately they are making fun of us okay we only have one option right here just to select understood that's it okay that doesn't put us in a bad place it doesn't take any um sometimes it randomly gives you fear or respect i'll tell you that it doesn't take anything from us but if you look at the bottom of the screen it gave us fear so let's go ahead and call uh the concierge again i know this is a lot yo that's why i tried to make the installation the quick part because <laughs> i know this is going to take a little while to fully explain uh the best that i can all right um now back in preferences um if we go to our mob info as you look when we open up the menu now now the name is different it doesn't say your mob it says whatever that you named your mob okay so mine says mob ties all right so if i scroll all the way down to preferences the next one will be to create and relocate the business point all right now this is important right here right what we want to do with this i'm going to stop the car all right now remember we went through the smuggling drugs and uh the smuggling goods and buying drugs like buying cocaine we went through that earlier but in order to um, buy the drugs you're going to need a warehouse but in order to sell the drugs or smuggling goods we are going to need a sales spot okay by doing that what we want to do is open up our phone again go through the contacts contact our concierge i'm saying it right <laughs> Even if I'm not, you know what I mean, okay? So let's go back inside preferences, all right? Now we're going to go to create, relocate the business point. Once that is selected, a flat area at the bottom, it says, hint, a flat area with few or none obstacles. Area is not suitable. Now, if you look right here, I have a big marker in front of me, and it is red. When it's green, that means it is suitable. So we're going to need like a bigger flat space, probably like a parking lot or something like that, all right? As you can see right here, it's a little at some point you will see it be green all right but this is in the middle of the street so of course it's not going to be suitable all right so let's go try and find a uh, parking lot for example i'm going to back out of that by pressing the cancel button all right if you look at the bottom it says syndicate restaurant associates for failed okay you see that at the bottom of the screen we failed that restaurant attack on the syndicates and we lost four associates okay four associates has been lost let's go ahead and check our mob info by calling back up the mob bringing up the menu and selecting our mob info now you're going to see that our associates we have zero out of four okay which means that we have no associates right now we're going to have to wait some time and then our associates will start to you know come back or whatnot all right for right now we still got our squad with us because our squad you know was with us the whole time that the restaurant was being attacked okay so like i said when you fail um attacking other people's properties you will lose associates all right even then when you're succeeding you still will lose associates but when you fail it seems like you lose way more associates all right so let's go ahead and jump in the car i'm going to give our driver a uh, location to go and drop us off at so we could go ahead and create our selling point all right so i am in uh, the parking lot over here by davis all right so i'm gonna call my contacts call my mob contact our concierge the guy that we created earlier and uh, we're going to go to uh, preferences and create relocate the business point all right you need a flat area there we go oh it was just here all right perfect so when you have your green circle uh, when the circle becomes green and you have the place that you want to place it at, go ahead and um, look at the instructions in the bottom right of the screen. Mine is telling me to press the right trigger for using the controller. I'm going to press that. And if you look at the bottom left of the screen, it says business point saved. So now we have our business point saved. Um, if I had a warehouse and I had smuggling goods or drugs inside and I wanted to make a sale, now I am able to make a sale because I have a selling point. Okay, so it's very important that you have your warehouses and have a selling point before anything. Oh, we got a message. The Kang Ping has warned us that you are about to be attacked. They're coming to help. Okay, so we got some people that are coming to attack us right now, yo. All right, they're coming to get us. They're going to be showing up right now. 
Like two cars deep or three cars deep. Where they at? Where they at? There they go. There they go. Get them. Oh, they're over there. Come on, yo. Hopefully the family will help us out. The fam. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Uh oh. Let me get this guy right here. Uh huh. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Gotcha! Hey, put that down, sir. Boom! Alright. So, after you're done taking out whatever mob to try to take you out. Then uh, that will be it. Okay. Oh, did I blow up my my guards? Oh no, there they, there they go. Y'all still alive, man? Good, good. So, like I had mentioned earlier, be careful who you attack because they will attack you also. All right. So since we were um, unsuccessful in attacking the syndicate's restaurant, um, our ally, our ally, excuse me, the Kang Pang Mafia, they have warned us and let us know, hey man, they're on their, they're on their way right now to come and lay y'all out and just giving you a heads up. So uh, that's what's good about having um, ally, uh, ally with um, these different uh, mobs. Okay, we got something else that needs our attention at the bottom of the screen on the left. We're going to answer that. I heard rumors, unfortunately, they are making fun of us. Uh, we have the option to bribe the detective, track down the witness, or do nothing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and track down the witness, witnesses, kill them, present more fear. We won't be able to uh, send my men on every mission because they are time consuming, as you see. Um, we go to uh, preferences, make sure we covered everything in that. Um, cannot change while the squad is there. Okay, so you could change the weapon style of your squad, but if your squad is out with you right now, you're not going to be able to do that. All right. You're not going to be able to uh, change uh, the style of the weapons while your squad is with you. You can only do that while uh, they are back at the mob house, wherever they're at. <laughs> All right. So the next option down is change the clothing color. All right. You can select that to change the clothing color and it'll bring you right back here to uh, this uh, mob selection or the character creation that we were at earlier to choose our concierge. All right. All right, now we do have a squad menu that uh, we could give our squad orders or stuff, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to stop the car, look at my squad members, hold left on the D-pad, and that will open up the squad menu. All right, you have to have your squad out here, I guess, in order to open up this menu, okay? So uh, once you have your squad outside and you're looking at them, hold left on the D-pad if you're using a controller. Um, all of these buttons will be on the download page and, um, and, uh, yeah, all of these will be located in the download page that I showed you earlier. Okay. So the first option we got is stop or cancel orders. All right. So if we gave an order for our, um, associates or squad members to do, we could open up this to cancel that order. Okay. We also have the members, how many members will execute the order. Um, we have, uh, the weapons. We could change the weapons right here. We have them being firearms, unarmed or melee. Um, we have attack, attack the designated target. You have a uh, wait at the designated location, escort me, um, use vehicle, and then you have leave. All right, so these are the options that we have right here. I'm going to go ahead and let these guys head on back by pressing leave, and you will see them start to just walk away and leave. My personal driver is going to stay here with me. There you go. Uh, we went through uh, the mob ties info right here, the orders, the squad. The squad is not yet available because they're still making their way back home or wherever they came from. Then you have the services uh, where you can bribe the police, personal driver. Uh, the personal helicopter comes when you're at power four. Okay, we're only at power level one right now. So when you reach power level four, then you will be able to call a helicopter. We do have something right here that deserves our attention. Someone didn't pay. Your men are asking what needs to be done. We have the first option, give him some more time. That gives us respect. Break his arm, that gives us fear. Do nothing, and we will lose either fear or respect. I'm going to break his arm, okay? Because we need more fear. We want to put fear in people's hearts, fear in all of the mob hearts. That way, they fear us and don't want to attack us, all right? So let me go ahead and check my fear level now. 
as you can see the the purple line that was in the middle is starting to go over towards the left towards fear all right the more fear that i induce in people the more um to the left that that grows or it fills up the fear the fear bar all right so we're going to go ahead and leave it right here man i'm going to leave all the links down in the description as well um man this is a fun script i was uh playing this for a while and everything and there's a lot of things that are um that are compatible with the script as well you can use this with ls live you can use this with um, a lot of other things as well um but it's all about testing things out and seeing you know what goes with what all right so like right now i'm using the weed shop uh script this is the script where we get to go and buy weed down at the beach and we can smoke weed anywhere this also works when you're being in you know the back seat of the car being chauffeured all right so like i said there's tons of scripts that can go with this um just go ahead and play around and see what works for you but we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here but if this helps y'all a lot to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all's games and graphics me big bowling ass frank we are out of here till next time yep. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.